G'day, it's Shane here from Wine and Grape TV, and thank you again for joining me at my home bar. But more importantly, thank you for helping me bring McLaren Vale wines to the world. Today, a little bit of a swing on McLaren Vale wines, because I've actually got a um, Shiraz, one from McLaren Vale, one from the Barossa Valley. Why I did this was I tasted the Barossa Valley uh, Shiraz last night, thought it was sensational, so I wanted to share it with you, and I thought, what better to do than to try it with a McLaren Vale Shiraz and just see if we can look at the two. So <clears throat> the first one, we'll go for the Barossa Valley Shiraz. So it's a 2005 Victor's Old Vine Gumpara Barossa Valley Shiraz. Now Gumpara is a very small winemaker, a uh, winery in McLaren Vale. Gumpara is now uh, formed or part of a, uh, what's called a Barossa Collective, has a cellar door in Tananda uh, in the Barossa. Hi Mari, if you're watching, and uh, another plug for you. Uh, these guys are doing some wonderful things. Uh, there's four wineries uh, got together to uh, show their wares in that cellar door uh, in Tananda. So well worth a visit. But the 05, so let's do the wanky thing. Very interesting, very consistent with what I had last night. Now, first thing here is the fruit characters are starting to disappear. What's coming behind them is those secondary characters, and what I'm getting there is lots of really chocolatey oak coming through, um, and that chocolate just is, is really, really nice. Uh, now, for those that know me, chocolate's not really my thing, uh, but this wine uh, really is a nice one. Interestingly enough, my wife, uh, loves good Shiraz. She absolutely loved this wine as well. And she's a chocolate lover too. And she actually had it with some chocolate and uh, thought it went very, very well together. So maybe there's a pairing uh, for those out there to try. Let me see what the alcohol content of this is. 14.5% alcohol. There's, there's a little bit, you can just get a little hint of the alcohol on the back of the palate there. Um, not bad at all, but it is uh, reasonably obvious right at the end of the, of the finish. Now again, consistent with the aromas, this wine is chocolate, chocolate, and more chocolate, all in a chocolate box. And I think that's the best way to describe it. Yes, there is some fruit characters there, but the chocolate um, thing really comes through right across the board. This is a really, really nice wine. Yes, I know people say Barossa, make these lovely wines, etc., etc. These big fruit bombs, big oak bombs. Now, this is not huge oak, okay? This is integrated oak, and they've done a really, really good job. Um, so, well done, guys at Gumpara. Yeah. I'll give this a bit of a rinse, not wanting to waste much of this. Now, what we're going to put this up against is the Lacuria Reserve 2008 Shiraz. Now, Lacuria is one of my favourite small wineries from McLaren Vale. So again, two small wineries, one from the Barossa, one from McLaren Vale. Uh, La Curia um, sources some wonderful grapes across uh, McLaren Vale, both in Shiraz and Grenache, and make a single Grenache, a single Shiraz, and then a blend of the two. All three wines are fantastic, and they're well worth checking out. You've probably uh, seen me with the Grenache before. I have reviewed that before. Uh, so I thought, why not try this a Shiraz this time around? Well, isn't that different? I know different vintages and all that sort of stuff, different age of the wine. But this is the, the classic McLaren Vale plumminess coming through. 
a little bit of spice, though I wouldn't really say pepper, maybe, maybe white pepper. Uh, but what I'm getting is some really floral notes coming through, which I find a little bit different for Shiraz. And you can get that hint of the, the cedary oak. So there's, um, I suspect it's all French oak coming through. But the oak is only a minor player on the nose at least. So let's try the rest of it. Wow, that is a mouthful. There is layers of complexity there. The fruit up front. Yes, there's the plumminess, but you're, there's also um, some black fruits coming through. And I'd even have a guess at a little bit of um, blue fruit, fruit coming through as well. So maybe a bit of blueberry, uh, blackberry, maybe a hint of black currant, a little bit of black cherry. So there's a little mixture there of all sorts. Um, geez, that is nice. Um, the... The tannin structure, there is layers of tannin structure there and I suspect that that layers of tannin structure comes from the, the quite intelligent use of oak. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure there'll be different oak uh, barrels, different oak aging, but also there's some really good tannins come uh, from the skins and the seeds. Uh, and that also gives it that, that extra depth in terms of that structure. And when you put all that together, that is just such a lovely mouthfeel. Now I know the Lacuria uh, is uh, 31 or 32 dollars a bottle have no idea what the Gumpara Shiraz is so can't compare those in terms of price even the Gumpara um, current vintage I'm not sure what it is so sorry Mari in that one uh, but two lovely lovely wines uh, the interesting one for me is two very different wines and I love them both so why not have them both okay and I'm gonna finish off the Gumpara tonight and I'm sure there'll be a glass or two of the Locuria um, after that as well. So look, that's all we have time for Only Grape TV today. Really excited about these two lovely Shiraz wines, two different vintages, two different uh, locations in South Australia, uh, both wonderful wines. Check them out. And again, thank you very much for joining me. See you later.